Yeah, welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be cutting and sewing this shirt without color and this straight leg pants that you can see on your screen so if you're interested keep on watching and let's get started so we'll start with the shirt i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into four so the one underneath is for the back and it's on fold while the one on top is for the front the one on top is three inches wider than the one underneath so i'm marking the three inches out this three inches is going to be for my bottom placket so i'm going to fold it inward like this so your front fabric should be three inches at least three inches wider than the front the back sorry and the length of the back is two inches longer than the front okay so i'm going to fold in that two inches remember the back is on fold and i extended it by two inches so i folded the two inches to cover up the front as you can see on the folded edge of this back um, pattern i went in by 2.5 inches and i marked it i'm going to place my um, tape down like this and i'll also mark another 2.5 inches which is going to be the neckline for the front okay so pay close attention so you understand what i'm doing i'm creating my neckline for both the front and the back after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start taking my points. Distance from my shoulder to my bust point, 10 inches. Distance from my shoulder to my waist point, 16 inches. Distance from my shoulder to my hip point is 23 inches. So I'll go ahead and rule straight lines across this um, point. And I'll label the bust point B, waistline, W, and the hip parts, okay? So I'm taking all these measurements after the 3 inches. This 3 inches is not included in all these measurements. The length of my shirt is going to be 26 inches. So take note of where I'm placing my tape, okay? So guys, the first measurement I'm taking is my shoulder measurement. And you can see where I'm placing my tape after the 3 inches. Half of my shoulder measurement is 8 inches. I'll mark 8 inches. And I'll add one inches to that one inch. This one inch is what I'll use to stitch my sleeves to the main bodies. On the bust point, I'm placing my bust circumference divided by four, and I'll add two inches, one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance. On the waistline, I'll place my waist circumference divided by four. I'll add two inches, one inch for ease, one inch for stitching allowance. On the hip line, I'll place my hip circumference divided by four. And I'll add one, two inches, one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance. After doing that, I'll connect the dots like this. So I placed my waist circumference on the waistline because I want the um, shirt to be fitted. But if you don't want your shirt to be fitted, just connect straight from the bust line to the um, blouse length, your shirt length, sorry. There's no need to um shape it on the waistline but i want mine to have a shape at the waistline that's why i placed my waist circumference the next thing i did was to go down by eight inches which is half of my round arm or circumference and i ruled a straight line across so i'll connect from the bust line to meet that point and i'll use my free hand to just create my arm o after doing that this is what i have i'm going to go ahead and cut out the neckline for the back so you can see that i'm cutting on the two inches that i folded over okay i'm just going to cut that part and that is the neckline for the back so i'll go ahead and also cut out the neckline for the front so just raise your fabric or your pattern up as you can see make sure you are not cutting the back with what you are cutting i'm just cutting on my front fabric i'm going to cut then determine the type of neckline i want a round neckline so that is why i'm cutting it out like this so after cutting guys this is what i have okay so i'm going to cut out the armhole area and the side of the shirt so after cutting you'll notice that the back pattern is longer than the front okay so once you match the shoulder area you see that the back is two inches longer than the front which is not a problem and because i don't want the side of my shirt to be straight i went up on this um top length by one inch and i just connected like this okay i'm going to cut this part out so the side is not just going to be straight okay after doing that guys i'm going to open my fabric up for you guys to see 
but before i do that i'm going to notch these three inches go ahead and do that so that when you are folding this front you know where to stop so guys this is the front okay and this is the back don't forget that your back should be on fold and the front should be open so once i open my fabric up this is what i have so like i mentioned earlier i'm going to fold in these three inches and once i fold it this is what i have so i realized that my neckline is too up for the front okay so i decided to just cut it out like this to make it more deeper so it depends on you after cutting i think i'm satisfied with this so i'm going to go ahead and fold it back and also notch the three inches just so i know where to stop when i'm folding so guys this is my back piece my back piece is on fold this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is to open it up for you guys to see and show you how i'm going to place them okay so i'm going to place them like this so you can see that the back is longer so the way we folded it before cutting that is how we are going to sew it so that joining that you can see is not going to be on the shoulder it's not going to be directly on the shoulder okay just so is the same length okay to fold the um three inches in what i'll do is to use my st i went ahead to cut out this st which is the same length as my fabric and the wideness is one inch i'll place the rough edges of the st on it like this i'll iron it down I'll fold it once and I'll fold it the second time, meaning I folded my three inches in. So I placed it, I folded it once and I folded it the second time, okay? I've gone ahead to do that, okay? And this is what it looks like. So what I'll do before closing it is to cut out my facing, okay? So you can go ahead and pipe the neckline if you don't have enough fabric to cut out your facing. So I'll be using my fabric as my facing. What I did was to just place the neckline on this fabric and I traced out what I have there. So I'll go ahead and sew and I'll use my hemming gum to just hold it down. I'll repeat the same thing for the back piece. After sewing my facing in place, this is what I have. So once you pipe your neckline, go ahead and just sew on that um, 3 inches to, to hold it down. Okay, Go ahead and sew on a straight line to hold it down so for the back piece i also went ahead to use my facing to turn the neckline and i ironed it flat with my hemming gum so the next now is to place both front and back piece like this right sides facing right sides so i'm going to first of all stitch the shoulders okay i'll place it like this and i'll pin i'll also bring the second part of the front i'll place it and i'll pin the shoulders together after doing that i'll go ahead and sew using half an inch so guys after sewing the shoulders in place i went ahead to turn it to the right side so this was what i was explaining earlier so in order for the shirt to be the same length the joining is not going to be on the shoulder okay just fold it like this make sure it is the same length and then notch the middle so this middle that i'm notching is where i'm going to fix my sleeves not on that other joining where i'm notching is where i'll stitch my sleeves okay and you can see that the arm o is the same the length is the same everything is the same okay so we are going to work on the sleeves for the sleeves my fabric is already folded into four on the folded edge of this um fabric which is the side facing me i'll go inward by three inches and on this other end which is open i'll go down by six inches and then i'll go ahead and connect like this okay i don't want this um ammo area to be too deep since we are making a shirt okay so i'm going to um use my tape to measure what i have half of my round ammo is eight inches i'm going to add two inches to that measurement one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance i'll place my round sleeve circumference divided by two and i'll add two inches to that measurement one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance okay i'll go ahead and also add my round elbow measurement divided by two and i'll add two inches to it i'll connect like this after doing that on the sleeves length i'll take my round wrist 
okay circumference divided by two i also add two inches to it one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance after doing that i'll connect like this after doing that i'll go ahead and cut After cutting, I will notch the center. Okay, just so where, just so I know where the center of my sleeves is. After cutting, you can see that I have my two sleeves in place. So I'm going to bring back my main bodies, and I'm going to place the notched part of the sleeves to the notched part of the shirt, as you can see. So these sleeves, the center of these sleeves, I'm not placing it on the part where I sewed. I'm placing it on the part where I notched. Okay. So I'm going to pin the second one and I'll go ahead and sew. I'll sew around the sleeves and I'll also sew the sides of my shirt using the one inch allowance that I left. After doing that guys, this is what I have. So I've closed the side of my shirt using my one inch stitching allowance. I also went ahead to sew the sleeves in place but I left about three inches okay that i'll close later after fixing my feathers so i'll be using these feathers um for the sleeves area so you determine where you want to place the feathers okay you can place it on the tip of your sleeves you can go up before placing it whatever you want to do with it that is why i did not close the side of my sleeves yes after sewing the feathers in place i'll go ahead and close the sides of my sleeves okay so this shirt does not have a sleeve curve and it does not have color this is the simplest shirt ever so i also go ahead and open my button holes okay on that um three inches that i folded because that is what um that part is meant for and i'll go ahead and fix my button okay then the last thing you do is to m your shirt all the way around so for the trouser guys i drafted out this pattern in my last tutorial okay so in this tutorial i'll be sewing a straight leg pant with this pattern paper so if you've not seen the pattern drafting tutorial i'm going to leave it in the comment section so i've gone ahead to use my pattern to cut on my fabric as you can see this is my back pattern I went ahead to add one inch all the way around this pattern so this one inch is going to be my stitching allowance on the crotch area also I added um, one inch which is also going to serve as my stitching allowance and on the base of the pants I added two inches these two inches is what I'll use to fold the base of the pant okay so I'm going to remove my pattern paper after doing that I have two piece so what I'll do is to first of all pin the crotch area together to hold it down. After doing that, I'm going to remark my dart, okay? So what I'll do first of all is to take out the stitching allowance that I left, which is one inch. I'll mark all the way as you can see me doing. From that point, I'm going to now mark my dart. So guys, for the dart, just like we did on our pattern paper, I'm going to go out from this crotch line by four inches which is half of my nipple to nipple measurement i'll indicate the four inches after doing that i'll go down by four inches four inches is the length of my back that okay i'll connect into a straight line and i'm going to take half an inch on both sides of these four inches and i'll connect like this so i'm going to sew on the crotch line and i'll also take in this that I repeat the same thing for the other side of my fabric okay so go ahead and do that after doing that guys for the front also i did the same thing that i did for the back i added one inch allowance all the way okay and i added two inches on the base of my pants i also added one inch to the crotch area i remove my pattern paper after doing that i'm going to repeat the same thing that i did for the back okay i'll pin the crotch in place to hold it down after doing that i'll take out my stitching allowance from the crotch line before i place my um that okay so guys to take in my darts i'll place my tape after the sewing allowance that i left on the crotch area and i'll go out by four inches which is half of my nipple to nipple measurement 
after doing that i'm going to go down by three inches which is going to be the length of my front that i'll connect into a straight line and i'll take half an inch on both sides of this straight line and i'll connect like this after doing that i'll go ahead and sew on the crotch on the crotch line and i'll also take in my dart so guys i've gone ahead to do that and this is what i have i've taken in my dart and i've sewed the crotch area in place the next thing i'm going to do for this front piece now is to fix my pocket we also drafted out this um pocket the pocket in that um pattern drafting tutorial okay so i just cut it out exactly as it is on my pattern paper so i didn't have enough fabric i'm managing three yards of ankara print for this tutorial by the way so my fabric is not enough for me to cut out um the pockets with the fabric so i went ahead to use this black material for it so what i'll do is to bring in my pocket and i'm going to place this part that we already cut out on the pocket and you can see that they are matching okay so go ahead and pin and then sew okay i'll repeat the same thing for the other side so the pocket and the fabric and the pants sorry the pocket and the main fabric which is your pants should be facing each other right sides okay so go ahead and pin and then go ahead and sew after sewing guys this is what i have okay the next thing i'll do is to go ahead and notch so go ahead and notch all the way around as you can see me doing just so it stays flat okay after notching guys just look at the way i'm going to fold it over okay i'll open up the pocket and i'll fold it over like this before i cover it up i'll take out the two inches that we trimmed from the pocket while we we're drafting remember we took out two inches from the waist area of our pants to make our pocket so we are going to replace that two inches which is just what i just marked inward so i'm going to now arrange the pants in place and i'll pin the waist area as you can see me doing okay so we have our two inches back on the waist area and i also realized that my pocket became small because i went down by six inches from the waistline so when drafting you can make yours longer you can do 6.5 inches or 7 inches okay once i arrange everything in place this is how the pocket is going to look okay so we'll close up the pocket first as you can see me doing i went ahead to fold it inward so that once i sew on that line all the rough edges of the pocket is going to be hidden inside the pocket okay so just pay close attention so you understand what i'm doing so everything that i did on this pocket i'm repeating the same thing on the other pocket okay after doing that close the pocket okay just fold it over so and turn it inside out okay after doing that guys this is what i have i've closed the pocket and you can see that the rough edges is not outside it is inside and this is what the inside of my pocket looks like so the next thing you do is to hold the waist together okay and then close this side of the pocket if you want okay just go ahead and just pin it you can hold it down with your pin you don't have to even stitch it down okay just hold that part down okay just so it's easier for you to pin both fronts and back piece together when you want to join them so after doing that um what i'm going to do now is to um sew the front and the back piece together you guys can see how small my pocket is looking on the outside not on the inside on the inside it is quite big okay so this is what it looks like on the wrong side so i'm going to go ahead and sew both front piece and back piece together to do that i'm going to bring in my back piece and i'm going to go ahead and pin the sides all the way down so you first of all sew the side before sewing the um crotch area don't forget that and also i've taken in the darts for the back and i've also um sewn the crotch line together so what i'll do now is to pin the side for the left and for the right okay i'll go ahead and pin after pinning i'll go ahead and sew so guys i've sewn the sides of my pants in place the next thing i'll do is to arrange the crotch area as you can see me doing 
and I'll also go ahead and sew all the way around and I'll turn the pants to the right side I've gone ahead to do that guys and this is what I have this is what my pant looks like on the um, right side and you can see my pocket is looking small and funny but it's fine so next thing i'm going to do is to cut out my band so guys like i mentioned earlier i'm managing three um three arts of ankara prints for this tutorial so after cutting out the main bodies i realized that i didn't have enough fabric to cut out my band so i had to like join um some of the pieces so my band is supposed to be two inches width on fold but right now what i have is 1.5 inches plus stitching allowance which is not going to be enough for me but i'm going to manage it because i don't have any other fabric to use so i'm going to just go ahead and sew this all the way around it okay i'll go ahead meaning my band is like one inch shorter than the actual um band that i was supposed to cut out but it's fine so i'm going to sew all the way around the waistline your band should be as long as your waistline so measure the waistline all the way around please iron a state to your band to strengthen your fabric okay so after sewing the band in place this is what i have the next thing i'll go ahead and do is to fix my zipper i'm fixing my zipper at the back and then i'll also go ahead and end the base of my pants and yeah guys that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one.